Hey everyone, in this video we will be analyzing the baseball summary report of a captured swing. Specifically, we'll be breaking down this player's torso side bend numbers and what it means for their swing. So torso side bend at heel strike refers to the amount of lateral tilt the player has in their torso when their heel strikes the ground and their pelvis begins rotation. A good number for hitters at this point in the swing will be a small positive number. A high negative number can indi indicate that the player is landing excessively forward of center. A high positive number can indicate that the player is stuck back. So this player lands at negative 15 degrees, which is relatively neutral and tilted away from the pitcher. This is in range, and the player shouldn't have to make any extreme compensating moves as they move to rotate. Torso side bend at first move is the amount of lateral tilt the player has in their torso when their hands begin to fire at 100 degrees per second. We want to see the player in a neutral position at this point in the swing, ready for the turn, between negative five and five degrees. This player is at nine degrees, meaning that they are slightly tilted towards the pitcher. Although this is outside of range, it is close and still an acceptable attack position. Torso side bend at contact is the amount of lateral tilt the player has with their torso at contact. This will be dependent on the pitch location, with a good number for low pitches being 45 degrees, and the range for higher pitches is 20 to 25 degrees. It is crucial to maintain through rotation and match the pitch height for good connection to contact. Taking a look at this swing, this player is at 35 degrees. If we assume that this pitch was down the middle, this is a good number to be at. We want to make sure that we're tracking pitches to get a full picture of the contact number here. So we've analyzed and we've looked at these numbers. So what's next? If the player is in range on each of these metrics, it's important to continue to train and maintain these good habits that they are producing while improving and working on other areas like strength and mobility. You can do so by building biofeedback programs that encourage these good positions. If the player is not producing in-range torso side bend numbers, first identify the root cause. Is it mobility? Is it a strength issue, mechanical, or even injury related? Then you can build torso side bend biofeedback programs at each point in the swing, getting them in a more neutral, balanced position, matching the pitch height through rotation, and utilizing the metrics that we talked about today. From there, continue to introduce variables uh, as a player progresses and feels more comfortable. The mix of training progressions and biofeedback will help create efficient and valuable training programs. So thanks for watching and look out for our next video as we continue our analysis and break down the numbers.